Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11 Gold Master. This is the final version before it comes out to the public, and basically has most bugs worked out, and came in at about 2 gigabytes for me. This is 2.03 gigabytes on an iPhone 7 Plus. Some people might see it a little bit larger or smaller depending on which device they have, but for the most part it's around 2 gigabytes. After that installs, you'll get rid of the feedback app, it's deleted off the phone, it's no longer here, and it's basically the final version. Now in the past we have seen a Goldmaster 2, but that's pretty rare, so this is probably the final version. Let's take a look at the build number. This build number is 15A372, and with the smaller build numbers, that usually signifies we have the final release. Now, in the final release, there's not a whole lot going on other than what we already know about from the leaked Gold Master and from Beta 10. So from Beta 10 to the Gold Master, we really don't see anything new with the exception of some wallpapers. So let's take a look at those. Now, in the wallpapers, there's not a whole lot going on other than what I showed you in a different video, and I'll link that here so you can take a look. And with the exception of some of the this scrolling, it overall feels very smooth compared to the beta 10 version. So that one little hiccup there when I scrolled seemed a little bit slow, but there's no new live wallpapers, nothing new as far as 3D touch wallpapers. We just have these. And then the one I have on my home screen is actually from the iPhone 10 that was announced today. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check it out later. Now, one thing to note is that Apple in their notes says there's 16 issues still that they're aware of. So that's way down from the 60 to 100 issues we saw in previous versions. But right now we're seeing about 16 issues and that's mostly to do with developer based things when you're doing different different APIs and things like that but for the most part everything seems to be fixed and much faster now the final comes out on September 19th and you'll be able to download it if you have an iPhone and you're not using the beta but if you do have the beta and you want to actually download the final version assuming it's not the same version number you'll just need to delete the beta profile once you delete the beta profile restart check for an update it will be there now, if it's got that same build number that we already went over, then you have the final version and there's no need to update. So it just depends on what we have as far as that goes. Other than that, I did run a Geekbench on this, and the Geekbench came in at 3521 for the single core, 5936 for multi-core. Verse last week, this was iOS 11 beta 10, or on the 6th, we had 3482, 3521. 30 or 5955 and 5936. So we see a little bit of improvements on the single core, not so much on the multi core. It really doesn't matter. It feels pretty smooth overall, but the 3D touch lag is still there. So I don't know if we're ever going to see this fixed. Maybe in iOS 11.1? I don't really know. But there are different hints all throughout the Gold Master of new versions of hardware. If you look in the code, and we found that out the other day before the big reveal today of the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and iPhone 10, Apple TV, and new Apple Watch 3. So I'll be covering all of those different devices. If there's something specific that I haven't found, that you've found let me know and please put it in the comments below and let everyone else know the other thing too is I'll be doing a full overview of iOS 11 later on so be sure to check back for that where I give most of the major features that come with iOS 11 versus what iOS 10 had if you haven't subscribed already though please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time <music>